What was my pregnancy like while I was in active addiction? What's up, you guys? My name's Nicole Pludre. I'm a person in long-term recovery, and I love to talk about drugs, addiction, recovery, and so much more. But this is one subject that I really, really struggle with because I have so much guilt and shame around this topic. My pregnancy, all things considered, was really, really smooth. All things considered. I was addicted to methamphetamine, and I was shooting it up throughout my whole time pregnant. <sighs> July 3rd morning at 5 a.m., I started to get a really sharp pain in my lower back. And I knew that I was going into labor, so I called my husband and said, you need to get home. He came home and he drove me to the hospital at like 8.30 in the morning on July 3rd morning. And I was only one centimeter dilated, so I begged them to let me go back home because I was high. I had been up all night that night sitting with my legs crisscross applesauce, drawing, you know, and just doodling and being high in my bedroom. So I went home and for the next like from 8 o'clock in the morning till 8 o'clock at night, I was in labor at my home. I was getting in and out of the hot tub. I was bouncing on an exercise ball like I was in pain. When I tell you, it felt like somebody was taking an ice pick and dragging it across my lower back. It felt like my son was trying to break out of my lower back. Finally, at 8.30 p.m., my husband drove me to the hospital, and when I got there, I was eight and a half centimeters dilated. During labor, um, my son's heart rate started to drop, so they gave me some kind of injection to raise his heart rate, and they also gave me an epidural. So I was on uppers and downers, fentanyl and whatever they gave me to raise his heart rate. My son was born at 1 o'clock in the morning on July 4th, like it had just turned 1 a.m. And I had gotten there at like 8, 30, 9 o'clock. So my labor was not long once I got to the hospital. My son was born completely healthy. His APGAR scores were good which if you don't know what APGAR scores are, it's like a test that they give babies to make sure, you know, that they're responding, that their coloring's good. Like it's just all this different, it's like a checklist they go down. The only thing that happened during labor that was, you know, not good was um, some of the meconium, some of the uh, poop. My little, my little boy had pooped inside of me and had swallowed it or something like that. But for the most part, everything else, he was completely 100% healthy. The minute I laid eyes on my son, I remember begging God, please God, let me take my son home today and I will never use drugs again. Please don't let them take my baby away. And two days later, me and my little boy walked out of the hospital and I took him home. And for 90 days, I white knuckled it. I didn't use any drugs. I breastfed. I learned how to be a mom. I was doing everything right. And I went down to the gas station and grabbed some Coke and some gummy bears because they're my favorite candy. And I saw my drug dealer at the gas station. And he was congratulating me on having my son and gave me some Xanax. And I took the Xanax. And that's all that I had. That's all I needed to re- start my addiction to jump start it into happening again once those xanax is kicked in i wanted something more than what xanax could give me and i was back to the races back to shooting up oxys back to shooting up methamphetamine and back to popping xanaxes like they were going out of style luckily for me at that time me and my husband and my son we all lived in a home with my mother-in-law and my father-in-law so they were taking care of my son for me when I could not take care of him because I was under the influence. About two days before my son's first birthday, my friend had called CPS on me. I didn't know that she had done it, or I didn't know they were coming. She had told me she had done it, but I didn't believe that they were actually really going to come. And two days before my son's first birthday, they showed up. And that was the day that my son got taken from me, and I entered myself into treatment. And I've been sober ever since but I am the minority I am very lucky that my pregnancy 
was healthy. I'm very lucky that my son was okay. I am very fortunate that my son didn't get taken away from me at birth because he should have. Something happened. I don't know if they were really busy at the hospital that day because it was July 4th when he was born. I don't know. All I know is July 4th, 2014, I was high on methamphetamine, Xanax, and I had taken methadone that day. And two days later, I walked out of the hospital with my baby in tow. So all the only way I can explain it to you guys is that God intervened because he knew that I needed to bond with my baby. He knew that if my son had gotten taken from me right away that day, that I probably would have never gotten sober.